We haven't actually conducted cultural burns down here in the Great Southern, so this is the first. It's very positive on the community, on the elders, and also on us rangers that get to carry the work out. It's a very historical gathering today because it's the first time that I can remember in my days since living on the reservations back in the 60s and 50s of this type of burning taking place. Really honoured to be around uh, the elders that we have here. It's hugely significant that they were able to come out here to a place that's owned by Aboriginal people, do a burn that's led by their elders and have their family members all mixed up working together across the whole burn. The main thing is we always got to consider the weather. As long as we like to do cool burns where we're burning into the wind, that's basically what we've done today. And yeah, it's been a success and it's been very positive. We've established a boundary there, so lighting where we are, whilst it looks ferocious, it can't go anywhere because we've already burnt over there. That's the thinking behind cultural burning, is burning in patches and ensuring that it can't get away from you and just protect the trees as much as we can so clear out underneath the trees and the fire can burn at a low level and sweep through and clean up and tidy up. All in all, it's been a very successful exercise. Working in harmony with the nature is another thing we want to hand down the knowledge of, of with uh, young up and coming, emerging young leaders. And I've got my two grandsons participating today and my son and, and my daughter joining in with the activity. And it's great that uh, we've got a lot of young people participating in as well. I think it's a start to some bigger and better things happening within cultural burning areas of uh, Noongar Buja, Noongar land. I've heard a lot of people today talking about we should do more of this, we need to join up like this more often, we need to come back. Those are fantastic things to hear. One of them said, I haven't seen a burn like that since I was a young fellow. And to sit here and smell this smoke, he said, it's healing for me. This, is, this will be the start of many burns to come in the future. It's all about Noongars working with other Noongars and Wajula organisations as well, all working together, trying to strive for a better future, yeah. Handing down the stories of yesterday, stories of the old times coming back again. Dream time returning to Kulunga so that they could learn from the Buja. Handing down the stories. Handing down the stories.